Happy now, all is now, so get to be in the present. First, they sign it back in here, putting out my perception into the cloud of the collective to expand the collective consciousness. You're now sitting into the mind of an alternate moon. And at a sun, day, and the space and location where I'm at. And Horus will be transiting the eighth house in the sky. Okay, so this is going to be my new series. We'll be, we'll, we're moving on to the moon now. So I've done my last uh, sun through Pisces. You know, this is going to be the moon. Okay. So, we're going to start off right away with Aries Moon, okay? First, get my magic wand out, okay? So, this is going to be for the Aries Moon. Aries is the first sign of the Zodiac, okay? Aries is born from the 8th house, okay? Aries, uh, yeah, born from the 8th house. Aries is a cardinal sign okay cardinal fire sign that is being ruled by mars this is the masculine side of mars okay scorpio holds the feminine side okay so when i say masculine it's more external okay more external uh feminine is internal so uh scorpio uh, uh, let's say Aries is is the Yang. Okay, Aries is the Yang side of Mars, and uh, Scorpio is the Yin side of Mars because fire is dealing with seeing in the Yin realm, and water is dealing with feeling in the Yin realm. Okay, and these are both subjective signs. Okay, so uh, but now we're talking about the Moon. Okay. So this is Aries moon. Okay, so your moon is your planet of reactions. Okay, this is your inner world, your insides, the part that you know best. Okay, so with the sun, okay, being your light, the, sh the light you shed and what you allow people to see, your vitality, your ego, and what you show people. Your moon is like I say, the internal, you know, the inside. So this is uh, almost, we could say, your needs as well. What makes you comfortable? Your planet of comfortability. What makes you comfortable? Okay? Because, you know, we have, uh, yeah, that's your feminine side. The sun being your masculine side and the moon being your feminine side. Okay, and you know, the 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 ascendant, you know, the ascendant sort of being like the spirit you are carrying, working with the two, the triangle, your trinity, ascendant. You could say ascendant being that first eye, moon, and sun. Okay. So this is Aries moon though. So Aries, like I said, is being ruled by, is it, it's a uh, cardinal fire sign being ruled by Mars. Okay, so it's just Mars. Um, and what does cardinal deal with? You know, cardinal, cardinal means, you know, it's the initiator. Hence why it initiates the zodiac wheel. That's why Aries is a cardinal. It starts with cardinal first okay so initiating you know in and it with it holding mars right it does with initiating new ways you know on how to go about attaining a desire or initiating new ways on how to yeah take action on you know your passions, initiating new ways on, you know, how to see on passion, you know, desires, you know, motivation, you know, how you can go about, yeah, you know, going action, taking action to, to manifest uh, a desire, you know, so with, with say, with Aries Moon, right, because this is your internal world and your, 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 uh, planet of comfortability okay with the aries moon you know 
it's uh this is uh initiating let's say desires are you know you're always giving birth to new desires okay so an aries moon let's say because the sun it naturally the moon does not even like to be in aries okay the sun is exalted in aries okay so when the moon you know this is a square first of all i'll show you how it's a square the moon is home in cancer moon naturally wants to be in cancer but once you put moon in Aries, you can see this is an astrological, this is a square. If you do the degree, this is a square. That's a 90 degree, and a 90 degree is a square for astrological term, squares, astrological term for a learning process, okay? So with the Aries moon, the learning process in this incarnation is that, you know, you should, you know, not, let's say, you have to be comfortable with, um, let's say, not giving birth, always, always giving birth to new desires. Okay, you see, with you using Mars, okay, as your moon, in your moon, you have that Mars influence, right? Mars is dealing with intent, it's dealing with motivation, you know willpower, desires, and there's a positive and negative to everything. Okay? So let's say you're you're a spiritually inclined being who knows that you have a moon in Aries and um yeah you you clearly identify that this is a learning process that you have put this you have chosen this placement in this incarnation, you know, and this is a learning process. Um so you know, you you sort of use this energy, you know, to, you know, spark, let's say, new ways on how to go about, let's say, showing your passion, you know, uh, spark new ways on how, how to go about, yeah, showing your motivation, you know, showing your willpower, Okay, because with this being, let's say, an, an Aries is just that initiator, you know, again, you know, so it just, it just, this is the natural, this is your reactions. Okay, so with Moon, right, being a planet of reactions, and this being an Aries, let's say with the negative side, growing me i have this placement okay so i will just go ahead and speak for me here because growing up my reactions were uncontrollable okay i was i was the type of kid in elementary school that was getting into a lot of fights okay i was quick to react i, I was you know getting into a lot of fights because aries is that quick reactions you react quick you know you react quick and you use mars and mars is boom you know i was i was quick to get into fights i was quick to throw the first blow you know so that was you could say the astrological learning process aka square that i had to go through in my life okay so yeah the 90 degrees but you know as as you know I, I i i you know you know move with my energies and and own in on my energies more in my reality i realized that okay yeah that was the lower vibration of mars you know that was when i wasn't using mars and mars was using me Okay, Mars dealing with that anger and aggression. That's the lower frequency of Mars. But the higher frequency is uh, motivation, intent, willpower. Okay, so I'm using my willpower, you know, my motivation and my intent to do this, these videos, okay, 
in, 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 in abundance, as you can see, and through music. That's how I show my intent, my willpower and motivation. Now I'm using Mars and Mars isn't using me. Okay. So, um, yeah, that's just how to show you how, if you have an Aries moon like me, this is how you can overcome your learning process in this incarnation. Okay. So, um, yeah. Um, like I say, planet of reactions, um, planet of comfortability, and let's say what brings you comfort is, yeah, through, you know, taking action towards a desire. And when I say with, with Aries, you know, being the mas masculine side of Mars and Scorpio being that feminine side of Mars, like I say, masculine. So your desires and what you desire will be put to the forefront. It will be put to the light. You will show it. Okay? You show your desires because it's masculine and masculine is, you know, yang. Okay? But as opposed to Scorpio is in that feminine uh, side, let's say a Scorpio moon won't show their desires and they'll keep it internally and they'll make those internal substances on how they can go about manifesting that desire. So with an Aries moon, even though the moon is the internal world, okay, I still show my desires because I am using the masculine side of Mars, okay, with Aries, you know? So, yeah, my desire is put to the forefront. It isn't hidden, even though it's in my moon. And I go about taking that. So, and you, we all, we manifest with our moon because our moon is our internal world. Okay? So, whatever moon you have, the, yeah, this is how you go about manifesting. Because as within, so without. Okay? So, yeah, this is going to be quick. This is going to be a video on Aries moon. Okay? So, yeah. First is signing out. Catch you next time.